What's going on guys here at 11 a great day today and today we are back with a brand new all the anime blu-ray unboxing this is one that i've been quite looking forward to for a while it got delayed due to production issues with certain elements within this collection i think the poster in particular but yeah guys today we're going to be unboxing memories this is from katsuhiro otomo who is most well known for creating akira but yeah guys we're going to unwrap this and i'll be with you guys in a second all right guys so it's now out of the packaging but before i get into it i would really appreciate if you could leave a like and subscribe on the video if you're a fan of anime and japanese gaming and you like unboxings like this when it comes to anime blu-rays so we'll now get into it so first of all i'm going to show you guys the front i really like this artwork as you can see, it is very reminiscent of the iconic Akira uh, cover with whoever the main character is. I, I always forget like which one is the main character in Akira, but it's the main character kind of sat on a seat of like the city and all that kind of thing. It's a really cool artwork, actually. I really dig it. Uh, but yeah, this is very reminiscent of that. So for those that don't know, as I said, this is made by the creator of Akira. And this is like a collection of three short film type things. They're all different. There's some really nice artwork and it's got some really nice uh, like glossy metallic shine to it as well. And then on the side, we do have that same kind of thing going over there. So there's no, um, not spot gloss, there's no embossing or anything. But it's basically all like this shiny gloss, which I really like. And there you have memories there. And there is something down here. There's a little like uh, kanji logo thing there. I don't really know what it's all about. But anyway, we'll now move on to the back, which the back of this does show all three of the different shorts with uh, various little screenshots. I think there's like five screenshots for each. Really cool. And then you got memories up here, which is all in. I really like that. It's kind of like um, they do sometimes have them with pictures where it's like regular things, but they make up like um, a letter. So obviously here you have lots of different things that make up the word of memories and it's uh, really cool really really dig that and i'm very excited to actually dive in and take a look at these different shorts because they do look quite different so we do also have a little bit of paper on the back i'll quickly show you guys that so uh, many different images and screenshots from the three different shots down there and they've got details on the side here and i'll quickly go over the episode titles and i'm going to give you the synopsis or anything like that because you know i feel like it's probably best to go into this fairly blind but also if you guys really want to know what they're about you can load them all up online pretty easily so episode one it's titled magnetic rose episode two stink bomb and episode three cannon fodder so now we'll go into the bonus stuff which you guys probably want to know what is in here so we have a memory special preview video trailers probably for all the different shorts art gallery interviews translation and liner notes canon fodder animated storyboards about the restoration behind the scenes and magnetic rose english dub outtakes image quality 1080p 16 by 9 it's got japanese and english because it does have a brand new english dub in here as well which is pretty cool to see and then the runtime is 150 minutes it's on one disc so yeah really not super super special in terms of the extra stuff you get on there but it's still pretty cool. So now we will dive into what everyone is really here for. And that is all the stuff inside. If I can get all this out. So we'll start off with the actual Blu-ray case itself. And I think these are like the three main characters from the three different things you have here. I'm hoping there's a disc in here because this feels extremely light. There is. Now inside, there is not really anything aside from a disc. It's a very basic uh, case, but like I said, there are some other things you get in here. And I'll show you guys off the disc. So this is from, I think, Cannon Fodder, the first one. And this is sort of like the former diva character who is kind of like the central um, protagonist. Maybe not protagonist, but like the central plot point, if you will. Uh, the driving force behind the whole thing. And that is a really nice looking image. I am very excited to see this uh, one in particular because it looks like it's going to have some really good animation. So... And I'll quickly show you guys the back as well. It's got this, once again, this little like kanji logo that was on uh, the spine, I think, of the case. So I have no idea what that's about, but I am very interested to actually find out because it probably plays some significant role. So now I will move on to this little, uh, I think it's an art book we have here, which is really nice, actually. I love that nice cover, just memories there. And then you got lots of different screenshots down here. And I'll quickly flick through it myself. Uh... As with these things, usually it's got like interview stuff, quotes from people, um, a discussion about uh, each individual thing, uh, each individual shot, uh, different pictures of animation and that. So for you guys, for example, we got in here just like pictures of this probably magnetic rose based off like the, just the look of it and everything. So basic stuff, you know, it'd just be a pretty cool read uh, and also the back here. Once again, not got some nice uh, bits of animation, artwork, all that kind of thing. 
So yeah, as with as usual with these collector's editions, like those kind of things are really nice to have. And then one of the most exciting things for me is the poster, which I think I might use this poster because I do like this poster quite a bit. Uh, like I said, it's very reminiscent of Akira. So I'm going to try and open it up. I don't really know what size this is. But yeah, guys, I'll move back so you guys can see it in all its glory. A really, really nice poster, which I do indeed dig. And I have no idea what size that is. That does not look A4 or A3 to me, so... I don't know where I'm going to fit that because I don't have like any posters that aren't A4 or A3. But yeah guys, that was the whole thing. Quickly show you guys the case for those that do want to see it. There you go. There's the spine and there is the back. So would I recommend you pick this up? Um, difficult to say. I think in terms of what you get, you get like a decent amount of stuff. Like I said, you get um, all the stuff that's included in terms of the three shorts. You get a little art book and you get a poster as well. And like I said, I don't know what size that poster is. Um, it seems like a bit more of an awkward size because, you know... Usually you like to get maybe A4 or A3 posters because they're like the typical frames and you can usually fit them to typical size and all that kind of stuff. So uh, it's a shame on the poster. That's my only problem, I guess, with this is that the poster is an abnormal size. And for someone who frames their posters, it's going to be more difficult to try and get something to put that in. Uh, but would I recommend this? I think for what you get in there, it is a decent price. I think it's like £30, which I think is decent. And it's a nice collector's edition case, but... Really what it's going to depend upon is the quality of these animated shorts, but coming from the guy who made Akira, I have no doubt that all of them will be good. Before I get out of here though, I'd really appreciate if you could leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're a fan of anime and Japanese gaming, and you want to see more unboxing content like this in the future. We've got some anime Blu-rays coming up, like My Hero Academia World Heroes Mission. I've got the Steelbook on pre-order for that, so hopefully that arrives sooner rather than later. And then Violet Evergarden, the movie 4K Collector's Edition, was supposed to release this coming Monday, but as it stands, it is now releasing on October 31st, so gonna be a little while till i get that one out but that is one of my most anticipated blu-ray releases of the year above all else though i want to hear your thoughts so head on down to the comments section below and let me know will you be picking up this blu-ray collects edition of memories or will you just wait for like a standard blu-ray release because naturally as with all these it tends to happen eventually and also if you've seen memories what do you think of it which is your favorite out of the three shorts and what do you think of akira as well as always thank you so much for tuning into mchat today and i'll see you all in the next video Thank <laughs> you.